नी ड्रिंक माई कड़क चाय वॉट ए चाय डेट इज थर्ड मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर टाइम राइट नाउ इज वन जीरो थ्री इन द मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग मतलब नाइट माई स्लीप इज गोन टू गो आउट ऑफ द विंडो बिकॉज आई एम ड्रिंकिंग हॉट टी कड़क चाय यू कैन सी कड़क चाय मसाला चाय वॉट एवर ओके आई टेल यू दिस If you go on YouTube today, if you go on YouTube, you go on Instagram, you go on TikTok, you'll see a trend. And the trend is, it's it's not a new trend. This trend has been going on, but maybe I'm noticing it a bit more. Lot of youngsters, lots lots of youngsters. Youngsters means twenty year olds. young men and women have started to create youtube channels which is perfectly fine it's free and uh, create instagram and tiktok channels and they have started to give advice advice on life advice on dating advice on self improvement advice on business and now you'll say that if you know you might say loy Boy, you're feeling insecure, huh? You're feeling insecure. Competition, ha ha ha, competition. So, or you would say that, oh, Roy, come on, come on. Don't start talking bad about them, okay? Just because you are forty, fifty year old dinosaur, so you're uh, you are putting them down, Baba. Please, just give me a chance to talk. Why I'm saying this because I know there are a lot of people who just see the headline or the title of my video, or one minute into the video, and they've already started to comment and please, please, just listen, okay? Drink some kadak chai, okay? When there's little, no, you should drink fast. Otherwise, it becomes cold. Okay, hmm, burp. Okay, sorry, soda. Hmm. So what I'm saying was, uh, <clears throat> so these youngsters are giving advice on life, girlfriends, and I had one guy who is to watch my content. He is twenty three or twenty four years old. Um, by the way, he deleted me. He got pissed off with me <laughs> because he migrated from Dubai to Canada. and there he started his coaching business he's become a coach he will teach you how to earn seven figure income seven figure and uh, a little bit of andrew tate kind of this thing is to show himself sitting in the pool and with sunglasses looking up pina colada girls and not actually a bugatti but you know full suit and nice car and some of the photographs he really worked hard mm. and he used to have the same setup like me i'm not saying he you know i'm not saying this is i created this bookshelf and this is me copyright and people shouldn't copy he just felt that this was a nice template so he decided microphone one bookshelf he has one i have okay many and um, he would create these facebook videos on telling people listen you're working a 9 to 5 you're the slave to the system there's lot more to life uh, there are people who are earning seven figure income i myself uh, i'm just 20 whatever 24 25 today i'm earning a seven figure income and uh, i don't mind sharing with you some tips and tricks uh, just you know the typical sales funnel you click on this link it'll take you to the website from the website you put your email address and then he'll send you a pdf videos fine i'm not shitting on him i'm not making fun of him anyway you don't know who it is but what happened why he got pissed off with me was because i had posted a video that time i'm not too sure what is the title and i said what the hell can a 20 year old each a 40 or 50 year old about life i mean you are just 
started your career, you finished college, you're just one or two years into work life. What are you going to teach someone who passed out of college and has 20 years? And the typical response is, I have the, it's not the number of years. Okay, it's it's a number of experiences you have in the years, you know, some, some word play like that. So he's like, you can just be mediocre for 20, 30 years or you can be exceptional and, you know, all that bullshit. So I just told him when he, he's saying, oh, you're trying to personally attack me or something like that. He said, I said, my dear kiddo, I, I told him, my dear kid, kiddo, because I knew him for a couple of years. He joined me when he was young in college. I said, uh, listen, he, you are, I'm not thinking about you fantasizing or this thing. Yeah. I put it out there. If you feel I'm talking about you, it's your problem, you know? So I said, and uh, but I stick to what I say. You're a 20-year-old. You can't teach a 40 or 50-year-old about life. You know nothing about it. You claim seven-figure income. There's no evidence to prove that. And just because you show a few photographs or videos, uh, bus, stop. Uh, don't think people are fools. I told him that. He didn't like it very much. And he said, uh, oh, so you're one of those insecure old guys. Insecure. I thought you were open-minded and blah, blah. And okay, delete it. Fine. You go your way. I go mine. But the point of this video is not, listen, listen. The point of this video is not to make fun of these 20-year-olds or anyone can be a coach. You want to be a coach, be a coach. In fact, my, one of my friends, his name is Walsa, Walsa Menon. He runs this training business in Dubai where he certifies people with coaching uh, certifications, ICF, International Coaching Federation. And every day, every day, he will post on his Facebook page, congratulations to these three or four or five or ten people who got their coaching certification. And there are young people, there are old people, there are... 30-year-olds, uh, 40-year-olds, 50-year-olds, married women, single women, married men. So now the question is, when there are so many people giving so much advice, have you noticed something? It's more or less the same. Like, when I give you advice, I'm not revolutionizing something that you never heard from anywhere. It's just that the way I say it, Maybe it resonates with you. You you get what I'm saying. The way I say it, it kind of resonates with you. It's like, for example, your mom or dad says, Hey, work hard, study hard. Uh, what you're doing with your life? You'll be like, eh, shut your pie hole, man. What? You'll not tell them that. In your head, you'll be, eh, study hard and all that bullshit. Eh, what salary you're getting? What job you're getting? Eh, if I become like you? In your head, children normally say, I used to say that. Okay. But the same, same advice, what the parents give, if someone they admire gives them, Andrew Tate or someone, hey, you need to work harder. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, work hard. Yes, work hard. They will listen to the people they admire. That is why people, you know, I can tell them, like to succeed in the corporate world, for example, I can tell them, uh, have a have a strategy, uh, you know, basically have a strategy, team building, personal branding. And people in multinational companies, huh, who the fuck is this tattooed guy, this clown? Huh. But the very same people, if they spend $2,000 or $20,000 to go to a seminar where Jack Ma is featured or Elon Musk comes there, and he says the exact same words um, you need. Like Elon Musk, how he says, um, well, uh, actually, you, you, you need to have a corporate strategy. Um, you need to have a vision. And yeah, uh, a personal brand for Tesla, a personal brand. That's how Tesla and SpaceX, they achieved greatness. Yeah. So the same thing, same thing which I said, same points, but yeah, you know, his style is different. And because he said that, they will take their iPads or their smartphones or their paper strategy and hard work and 
personal brand they will write it down why because they paid money so the same advice a grandfather gave your mother gave your father gave tattooed freak gave elon musk gave or someone you spent 20000 dollars gave same advice nobody is reinventing the wheel but it's your perception no eh shut your mouth yeah mom and dad what is nonsense they are talking tattooed fool who the hell looks like this moron elon musk sir <laughs> elon musk sir sir hard work hard work hey. hard work so strategy strategy personal brand personal brand hmm. so what am i trying to say am and i shooting myself in the foot i'm telling you we are not reinventing the wheel then you'll be like boy in that case why the fuck i should come to you man all of you are giving same advice exactly exactly all of us are giving the same advice so why should you come not come that come why should you approach better english i don't know the answer to that for you but i know the answer to that for me why should i approach someone when he can give me the same advice as everyone else and the answer is from my personal experience you know when i was just like you young man however my situation was different as born in a south indian mangalorean family all bullshit never read any book and i was searching the advice of how to succeed become great obviously accidentally i bumped into uh, uh you know napoleon hill robert scholar tony robbins all the self improvement job norman vincent pale of the 80s then earl nightingale jim rohn you know 80s self improvement books les brown read those books this believe in yourself you can achieve anything and i was going to everyone for free advice there was no concept of paid mentoring or mentoring until i met my mentor of nearly 20 20 plus years 25 years whatever mohammed murad you know ex head of the by police ambulance section part of the cid emirati muslim very different guy and i took a liking to him i took a liking to him even though he was muslim i was those days catholic christian even though he was emirati i was indian but i liked him i trusted him i felt he was a nice man and i would go to him with my problems and lo and behold he would give me the solutions like for example you know if i would tell him uh, people are making fun of me he would tell me do this oh i want to be confident in public speaking okay do this i would tell him okay about this girl i like he would like he would give me a different perspective oh i want to marry this girl he would give me different then he even saw me grow up and he would tell me law you are wrong here you are right here now that didn't mean i followed every bit of his advice because he was a very different person from me he was a good man he had values he had self control i didn't have any i was a horny young adventurous rebellious adhd he was just the opposite so even though he gave me good advice i didn't follow it but i would go to him i would still take his advice and he knew that i didn't follow him but he kept patient and imagine this relationship continued for 20 plus years 20 plus years luckily he never charged me even if if you charge me i don't think i could ever afford it because i was poor okay however because of his guidance and then mentors like him who came into my life gabriel de souza was the ceo of quick electric there were a couple of really good jack sophie who was a athletic coach he was a paid professional and there were others okay they gave the same advice same advice that any normal person would give but the reason i went to them was because 
I connected heart to heart. I I felt a sense of connection. Okay. And it was maybe the right advice at the right time, at the right place, at the right phase of my life. And I changed. Some ways. And for areas I didn't change, life gave me a bit slap and made me change. Okay. Now, how does all this connect to this coaching business that I'm talking about? First, let me drink some kadak chai and get some energy. Hmm. You can take kadak chai. Let me show you. Kadak chai. Ah. There's one female who I think she's in. She is. She has a only fans account or something. She follows my channel, and she tells me, "Please don't slurp your tea. It gives me." I'm serious. I'm not joking. She has only fans. Okay. How do I know? That's a different story. Okay. <laughs> Can't tell you everything, man. Okay. Anyway. Hmm. So now, what has all this got to do with this coaching business? Did you notice? I told you that these mentors, I didn't pay him. Twenty years, I didn't pay him. Okay. And that CEO of Quick Electric, Gabriel De Souza, he was my mentor. He paid me to be his employee. I never paid him. Okay, the only coaches that I did have paid, like that Jack Sophie guy. Okay, those I paid. However, I'm not talking of the free coaches, the paid coaches. There are so many paid coaches, but I went to this particular guy. and eventually i myself got into coaching now giving advice i told you know giving advice it's the same thing everyone gives the same thing it's who you connect to but now here's the billion dollar question that nobody asks who gets into this coaching business and that is can you make enough money to sustain and survive think about what i'm saying huh let me finish See, I told you, you know, um, my friend uh, Walsa, Walsa Kumar, is constantly certifying coaches. Is issuing certifications from ICF International uh, Coaching Federation, legit certification. Every day there are five, six, ten coaches. that means globally there must be hundreds of thousands of millions of coaches so now the question comes you can become a coach there's no restriction anyone can call himself a coach and you can have nice alphabets after your name question is can you sustain can you sustain can you survive and can you thrive because end of the day whatever you choose in life you need to earn money to pay your bills and this is something majority of people don't think about see right now okay i switched on the ac you could hear no beep okay that ac cooling cost money the light you can see all this light no this cost money this microphone which you can't see here i don't want to touch it then system it costs money this monitor this camera costs money this speaker system there is one computer 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 laptop the, you you get what i'm saying all this costs money and on top of that i have a wife i have a baby it costs money to look after them i have dogs i have guinea pigs i have all this costs money the chai that i'm drinking costs money the Oh, by the way, I got this nice little mousse, you know, mango and yogurt and black seeds which puff up. I don't know what do you call that. It's nice. It costs money. This internet by which you're watching costs money. All this costs money. So now the question is, am I able to generate enough money to not only pay all this? I have to pay all this. Plus, I have to earn more. to save and you know pay all this take care of all the loved ones and save 
plus i have to manage inflation okay sorry I have to manage inflation plus i have to think about days when there are zero clients you know sometimes you can have five clients in one day sometimes you can have zero clients and sometimes you'll not have a client for maybe one week two weeks you know it's like running a business one day you'll have so many people coming to your restaurant and eating food you'll be like oh bloody hell i'm going to be a millionaire if it continues like this and then for one week you'll have nobody come to your outlet go to a restaurant i'm telling you go to a restaurant and see how they are running it one day there'll be no place then come in the morning nobody is there come in the afternoon nobody is there come in the evening during a work day maybe one two guys are there and imagine he has to still pay the staff salaries he has to pay electricity water so when you are positioning yourself as a coach are you making enough money to sustain because i see all these youngsters they are giving advice okay fine give advice seven figure coaching and i'll teach you how to change your life and get girls and get boys and blah 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 all that fine fine are you able to make money see many of them na they go online and they 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 create this facade this image like andrew tate shows his bugatti he shows his car why because he wants to show see i'm successful proof look successful oh i am strong see without shirt look at my physique oh i have hot girls come here and give me a massage oh that girl see i have hot girls like thai lopez sitting in a private jet with a camera two three girls champagne bottle who does that tell me who does that is that normal no but he's doing it for the camera because the dumb idiot on the other side wow in a private jet wow girl oh i like this girl she's so hot oh champagne who oh, is wearing a suit i also want this what he doesn't know is all this is planned by the production team by the marketing team to create an image to sell a concept a dream hope some people fake it to make it like grand cardon and all these people they have become rich by telling you how to be rich not they have become rich by which you know if you have common sense you'll know this so now we'll come to me i'm i'm very sure hey lawyer you're talking about i'm talk about yourself on talk about yourself okay fine baba i'll talk about me i speak on areas where i have experience where i've made mistakes and what i've learned from them like you know tattoos people say what the fuck a tattooed guy is going to lecture us i can tell you about the missed opportunities the relationships which were rejected failed i can tell you about the price i paid of being shunned out by society and my underlining message for these tattoos please don't get it like when i speak about you know the 200 300 or 400 whatever number of girls i slept with or had affairs i i'm not saying it to her oh, 400 girls ha 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 no 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 there are people who have had every a, a single female they had sex with every single day for 10 15 years because they are in the you know as a dj they get night clubs everyone is drunk drugs and there are nowadays even females are busy putting on daily mail this one female said i slept with one guy every single day stranger for one full year and wow what an experience she is a beautiful young girl 20 year old but when you look at her and she says this the first thing you think is how much of fungus virus and stds in that vagina of hers i know you'll say double standard loy what about you 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 get what i'm saying so it's when we share this information why are we sharing it in her case maybe it's to be relevant or to say i'm hot in my case once upon a time as to say it to show off today i don't say it to show off today i say it because i want to tell youngsters you can get girls it's not impossible but there's a price to pay for it 
and then I tell them, why did I stop? Why did I stop today? Because I'm forget my lower testosterone. The possibility of getting an STD here in Thailand is so way too high. In Dubai, everyone is tested every few months or every time you need a visa. So it's the chances are very less. Here, nobody tests. Here, you do not know who has an STD. And there in Dubai, the females that has to date were timid. Here, the females will bloody, they'll turn up at your doorstep. They might set your house on fire. They are very like masculine, you know. If they have sex with you, they'll demand money, some of them, and they'll break your house. Maybe if I have a sleep with some female, I'll get a massage. Maybe after my wife comes here, she'll blackmail. You know, the there are one million things to worry about. Before, maybe I was not known on social media. Today, I'm known on social media. People can blackmail me. You know, you understand what I'm saying. And the landscape of social media has changed so much that today... Anything you do is looked under a microscope. Okay, anyway, so keep that girls, 400 girls or whatever. So I share with people from my life the lessons learned, the mistakes made, the observations that I've had, the clients I've worked with. Like even when I give advice about keep away from Indian men or keep away from Indian women, it's not to say all of them are bad. It's to share with you the ugly side, which nobody talks about. See, if a non-Indian were to speak about an Indian, you'll say, you're racist or who the fuck are you, man? What do you know about Indians? But me being an Indian, dealt with Indians, been with Indians, I can share some unique experience. All the people say, you're not an Indian, okay? Indians don't look like this, act like this, whatever. You get, you get the idea. So... I am a coach who shares his personal experiences, failures and guides people to tell them, please don't make those mistakes. Okay, it's like you learning from my mistakes. But now, the main thing that I want to want you to focus on is End of the day, even if I'm fabricating a story or making up a story or telling you bullshit or the question is, can I sustain and survive? Can I earn enough that I can pay my bills, take care of my wife, take care of my kid, take care of my future? Because remember this, I told you, thousands of coaches, thousands of gurus, thousands of people are creating YouTube channels, TikTok channels, Instagram channels, Facebook videos. There's a never-ending tsunami of new competition, new choices. So why should someone pay me money when you can get advice for free? Big question, right? Why should someone pay this tattooed guy money when there is free advice? Even I told you this question, why should someone pay money when all the advice is more or less the same? Common sense. And the answer is what I gave you. It's too cold here. Let me lower this. Too bloody cold. And you go up and I'll put you off for now. Too cold. Yeah. So why should someone pay money? Like I told you, I can't answer this question for you. I don't know why you should pay me money. That I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know why you should pay me money. But I can tell you why I have paid a coach money. I have paid a coach money because I felt I could trust him. That is most important. I paid a coach money, not only trust. The second part is, he is good at his job. He is qualified. He has experience or he has practical application knowledge and he has shown results. I have paid money to an individual whom I knew this man or this woman can make a positive change in my life or I paid money to someone. Let me see what happens. Even though anybody else could have given me the same service or the same advice or the same benefit. Maybe. Was I right? Sometimes. 
I was more wrong than I was right. I've told you in my previous videos, I, when I was on the streets, when I was homeless, penniless, and I had borrowed money to pay for a coach, and the coach took the money, and only, only after the coaching got over did I realize the whole thing was crap, utter crap, utter nonsense, worthless piece of shit. And just imagine I borrowed money to pay this guy. Oh, tragedy, Baba, tragedy. And the certificates he gave me, I realized were worthless. So now what do I do? Cry? Can't get a refund? Well, like I tell people, you fall down, get up, dust yourself. Okay, fell down, try again. And that's what I did. See, if you want to take the route of coaching, if you want to be a coach, fine. I understand there is that certain degree of that, that high it gives you. You get that, oh, I'm a coach. I will give you advice. I, I'm the guru. I am the great. I will give you advice. Children, listen. I am, I, I, I will give you advice. It feels good. Honestly, it feels good. It's a, it's like a drug where you're the boss. And most of the people, once they get into the line of being a coach or businessman, being your own boss, feels great. You never want to go and take shit from anyone. But, 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 too many buts. What if you don't make money? What if you don't make money? Yeah, you'll say, hey, come on, right? Stop being so pessimistic. One, you know, six or eight billion people on this planet. You can't make one customer. That sounds very easy. But how many people know you? How many people, out of how many people know you? How many people are willing to pay even one dollar? Try getting one dollar from a person. I'll tell you. It sounds easy. Try. Ask someone, excuse me, give me five dollars or one dollar. Give me. And he'll say, for what? I'll give you advice. Pay me one dollar. You'll be like, for what? Why should I pay one dollar? I might as well pay one dollar and get a Coke. A can of Coke or a chocolate or a Snickers bar. At least I'll get something. Who wants to listen to your shitty advice? Honestly. So it's only people who are in need. Need. Desperate need. And they can't get a solution anywhere. Because remember this. Even if the person's in need... Google.com, YouTube.com, Instagram, TikTok, all of them with the search function, you'll automatically get the answers. Generic answers, but like I said, nobody's reinventing the wheel. So why should the person give? And on top of that, even if you admire someone, maybe that person is like me, puts up a YouTube video and gives a solution or you don't need to pay. How many people send me emails, messages, WhatsApp, this thing, where they put their entire problem and they'll ask for a free service. And if they know that I'll not give them a free service, they tell me, please, can you put up a video? Put up a video whenever you want. Why? Because they want it for free. And it's nothing wrong. At least they're interacting with me. But it does not feed me. It does not pay my bills. And that is where you need to work your ass off. You need to work like a bloody dog. It's now 1.36 in the morning. 1.36 in the morning. I'm not saying that, oh, I'm working so hard. No, I love this. Oh, I love this job. Oh, oh I love this job. However, love itself is not going to pay the bills. Passion. Oh, I'm very passionate about this job. It does not pay the bills. In fact, have you even thought about this? I have spoken for, now I'm looking at the, the thing, it's 34 minutes I've spoken. Do you know where this energy comes from? At 1.37 in the night. Where is this energy coming from? Where is this passion coming from? Where is this normal? Or is it just like, oh law, you have ADHD, that's where it comes in fact, have you even thought about this? That I have, my wife is not there. So I have to cook, I have to clean, I have to do the basic household chores. I have, 
one, two, three, four, five, six, six guinea pigs plus they give birth to another three more just yesterday. Bloody hell. Now it's nine guinea pigs. I have a sugar glider, one, two, three, four, and they gave birth to two more. So six sugar gliders. Now I have one dog plus I have a Rottweiler pit bull who have to teach toilet training, potty training and have to clean. You know, he pissed all over here and if I keep the just put water that smell will be there so I had to put Clorex and Clorex makes me very weak whole day I was out sorting out things getting a new cage because this guinea pig of mine it's a male it's busy humping all other guinea pigs male or female and getting everyone pregnant so I had to bring a separate cage plus I had to pay the lawyer I had to go basically I had normal day like you and me we have our normal things to do I had to go to grocery shopping I had to go uh, get stuff for these animals to eat and guess what I got up at around I think 6 in the morning 6 or 7 I couldn't sleep did work all the way to 12 in the afternoon uploaded the videos went to sleep again after 2-3 hours got up again completed all this work and then I was completely tired still couldn't do work now remember, no clients, nothing huh? until now. Went to sleep. When I woke up, then the clients came. So I have to do that first. After I finished off with the client work, again I was exhausted. Plus I have to eat food. I ate, then I felt sleepy, went to sleep. And finally, finally, I had a shower, you can see, shining. I had a shower, everything. Poured my Cut up chai, now making the video. And like I told you, this video is don't pay me. I do this because I have to do it, part of my branding, and I love what I do. But you see how the one day went. And did you notice to have this energy, to have this, to get into the zone of making this video, I had to first complete all the tasks. I had to take rest and I had to be ready for it. And when I was ready, client suddenly sent a message. So I was like, oh, okay, okay, stop. We'll postpone the video. And then finally I made it. So life is not easy, boss. You know, if, if I had to start my career all over again, now, coaching, bloody hell, are you mad? This is what I would say. Because there are, what I started 20 years ago versus what I'm doing now, the social media landscape has changed. Number of people jumping on YouTube has changed. Working remotely has changed the face, uh, you know, COVID and all that work from home. Life has changed so much in these past five years, man. If you're thinking of doing something that someone did five years ago, maybe the time right now is gone. So it's not that you, not that you should not be a coach. It's not that you should not give other people advice, lecture them about life, seven-figure income and you know, without a shirt, Andrew Tate, Bugatti, girls, all that, fine, fine. End of the day, are you able to make money? Are you able to survive? Are you able to thrive? Why do you think Andrew Tate flexing his Bugatti and all that said, cigar and girls, is offering courses for $49? Why do you think he's doing that? Why do you think he's coaching people, $5,000, come sit with me, I'll coach you? Why? Why? If he was, uh, remember what I told you, if you are really, if you are running a successful business, if you really have a legit business, like an e-commerce store or you're running a shop, are you going to sit and mentor other people for $10 or $50? I'll teach you how to open this shop just like mine and you become my competition. Okay, all of you open 20 shops like mine for $100, I'll teach you. And plus I'll give you contacts where to get these products from, best pricing. Are you going to do that? No, you're going to be like, fuck, no, man. Trade secrets, I'm not going to teach anyone. 
बिकॉज यू आर रनिंग अ लेजिट बिजनेस बट इफ यू आर रनिंग थियोरी थियोरी हाउ टू रन अ शॉप यू कैन गिव हंड्रेड पीपल द सेम थियोरी बिकॉज दे आर नॉट योर कॉम्पिटिशन सो वॉट एव आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू थ्रू दिस वीडियो See, whatever you want to be, you know, you want to be a coach, you want to be a consultant, you want to be e-commerce store, online businessman, whatever you want to do, go ahead and do it. Okay, go ahead and do it. Will you be successful? Is a big question, big question. And by success, I don't mean millions of dollars and fame, fame. No. can you earn enough per day per day to pay your expenses your bills per day do you have one client at least and with that money that you get can you pay your bills can you pay food expenses can you pay travel expense petrol expense electricity water wife girlfriend child pets internet phone calls Do you earn enough plus plus savings plus the toys that you like? You know you want to enjoy life, right? And can you do it day after day for the rest of your life? Or are you just thinking about now? Hey, likes and comments. Hey, I'm becoming famous. I'll give you advice, Guru. think about what i said i'll just end with this final story okay this guy's name is uh, let's call him satish satish okay he met me in dubai he was a 20 year old so you're talking of nearly 10 years ago 10 11 years ago yeah he was in his 20s he came to dubai um those days i used to have you know free sessions once a week in a hotel anyone could come and uh, i would give them you know self improvement and resume interview skills coaching skills okay so he also came there and uh, he liked my coaching style so much so that he said uh, sir i would like to come um you know because once a week i would hold it in a hotel but i would also hold it in my house residence um twice twice a week at my residence so he wanted to come for it fine he came and he wanted to get a job with a basic income just a thousand dollars less than that sales executive fine satish huh? his name so i gave him basic guidance here and there he did his cv and all that and he finally got a job as a sales guy he's happy i'm happy he paid me money he got his service he even gave me a recommendation i was very happy fine then he discontinued however after couple of years i was still in dubai that time he sends me a he, he that time he was my friend on facebook facebook linkedin all he added He sent me a message on Facebook and says, "Please, sir, like my page." Okay, check. And lo and behold, he has created a Facebook page. Satish, whatever his surname is. Now remember, I was personal branding strategist. Me. His name he put Satish, business branding strategist. I was like, what? Remember, the guy wanted thousand dollars salary, less than that. First job in Dubai, could not get. Sought my coaching, my mentoring, whatever. Got a job, and after just a year, two years, or whatever, sends me this Facebook page where now he is actually copied the content. Like I put personal branding strategies, he put business branding strategies. whatever description i put he copied more or less the same only changed a few words here like i i said one of the leading award winning coaches you know you know all those words i used he also put award winning coach 
whatever i put he put okay obviously he couldn't copy the tattoos and all that and because i had a youtube channel he didn't have his first video was not a joke huh? the first video was i don't know standing i don't know where he's standing outside the door he's standing outside the door the phone is down here like for example you put the phone here like this the camera is looking up like this so you're looking up and he's saying hello uh, hello friends uh, my name is satish i am the number one business branding coach and then all of a sudden there's a cut in the video and there do you want to make money do you want to succeed in life do you want to achieve your dreams something in those days i am here to tell you you can achieve your dreams join my facebook something he said satish.com i was like huh? he even have as a website clicked on the website he had booked the website he didn't do anything much it was put under construction fine i looked at it i was like are you fucking kidding me i wanted to tell him like you know, boss you are copying all this shit and i just kept quiet and i thought he was the only idiot who did that later on i found out there was another female also who did that and she was from switzerland huh? switzerland who had a sugar daddy and she explicitly copied everything that i used to do including my training programs by having voice over people and that's another story and people knew about it and she was beautiful uh, i don't know she claimed to be a phd um she put doctor before her name and she also copied so it was then i realized everyone's trying to copy me they would come for my sessions and they would copy i'm not saying that i'm the greatest but they did take those ideas okay fast forward today remember i was in dubai today is 10 years around 10 years 11 years since that i 36 to i'm 47 11 years yeah say from the age of 30 so 17 years this guy satish he had sent me a message multiple times later on his coaching business anyway got was useless he lost his job because he was not focused on his job he tried borrowing money to open up a trade license to do this full time it failed he went to india to continue this coaching business to become a coach or guru until his parents had enough because he was living off on their expense and they kicked him out of the house they got so fed up they kicked him out of the house and in his desperation he contacted me and said please sir help me and so you know i was like what the fuck do you want is it please sir, help me get a job help me get somewhere i don't have money i told him boss i don't help for free i i also have bills to pay please sir i i paid you once i said boss you paid me what 10 11 years ago for a cv i made your cv that time it was cheap and we achieved the results that 10 years ago for that service you can't continue today please sir he didn't even have money to pay for my services and finally sorry i'm not charitable they couldn't last i heard of him he kept sending messages please are not getting a job not getting not getting not getting and he vanished his facebook page i told him get rid of all this shit because nobody will give you a job you keep putting all this shit and he shut it down he listened at least that part he listened that female who i told you from switzerland who had doctor whatever with my content initially i think she was doing well she was going to all these places in europe and you know they have yellow glasses and pink glasses and purple this thing and she used to wear the unicorn actually you, you know when you wear a unicorn like a, with a horse and a rainbow colored thing and dress up like a girly girl she used to i i don't know what the fuck she was doing he like this she used to do and act like a kid and she's like personal branding yeah just because you have yellow glasses and pink outfit and e like this you do what personal branding is that that's clownish nonsense 
and all copy paste from everywhere she used to get writers from india i think she used to uh, you know freelance this uh, how i know it because you're in that industry you know when people copy paste she ended up with uh, her sugar daddy i think dumping her ass because he was like oh, you're spending my money and then i think she started to get attacked by online trolls which she couldn't control the she was not mentally strong emotionally strong she used to even offer courses for 5 dollars 10 dollars completely vanished and uh, finally she left dubai because she couldn't bear the expense she went to one of those third world countries philippines or bali or whatever and now she has vanished completely vanished even a google search you can't get her i don't know what has happened to her i'm not wishing her bad now i know you'll think that oh loy okay you've given us failures can you give us a success i've told you success stories like people who have created youtube channels after me today they have 10 times 10 times more the viewers the subscribers but we are not here to speak on those rare exceptions of that 1% who have succeeded if you create a youtube channel today do you think you're going to get 1 million subscribers no no i'm talking of the normal people normal people like you and me so whatever career path you want to take go ahead and take it all for you will you succeed is a big question forget succeed will you survive can you afford to pay those bills can you because if you can't then you are in trouble then that 9 to 5 job that you are making fun of or all the advice you are giving oh success and lecturing other people and wanting to guide people be your own boss and all that all that no you'll just realize fuck man i i can't survive i need money to survive and that is where reality will bite you in the ass and then you'll wonder what the fuck do i do man and the unfortunate thing is by the time you realize it's a bit too late and then you'll have to really struggle you'll have to shut down all this nonsense and start from square one so my only advice to you is my dear whatever is your dream go ahead and do it your coaching e-commerce store whatever you want to do go ahead and do it but ask yourself do you have that money coming in survival first thing to survive if you can pay your daily day to day bills then think about it otherwise all what you're doing is just make a wish hope and practically you'll not survive because eventually you'll run out of money you'll run out of people to help you you'll run out of uh, you know charity and then your parents will say sorry get the fuck out of our house manage your own and when you don't have money all this bullshit will not work anyway my job is to keep things grounded and keep things real if you agree with me let me know don't agree with me also let me know Good bad ugly feel free comment down below this is me signing off you guys take care